Hi everyone, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. If you're watching this video, it's because you're either super keen for flipped learning and you're always looking to learn more, or you've registered for my workshop at FlipCon Australia 2017 called A Starting Point for Flipped Learning. This video is one of the pre-learning modules that um, delegates will be asked to watch, to look through before they attend the actual workshop itself. And in this particular one, I just want to go through some definitions of some terminology that will be used in my workshop as specifically, but in general throughout the event, uh, throughout FlipCon. So with that in mind, let's get cracking. The first thing that you'll need to be aware of is what a learning object is. That's what this particular video is called. And a learning object is the thing that students use to engage with the explicit teaching. What the actual learning object is, we typically think of as being a video, but it doesn't have to be. It will depend on your particular context and your subject area as to what the learning object is. It might be a novel, it might be some plans or schematics, it might be some instructions for a particular process. What the learning object is, is entirely up to you. It could well be a video, but it doesn't have to be a video. As long as there's some explicit instruction occurring through that learning object, that's the important part. Students will engage with that learning object in the individual learning space, which of course leads us to asking what that is. Now the individual learning space is wherever the students happen to engage with the learning object to go through that explicit teaching to receive that. Now the actual physical space that is the individual learning space it might be at home, but it also might be on the bus, it might be in the school library, and it may well be in class. Again, how this works will depend on your specific context, your subject area, and is a decision that, that you will make using your professional judgment as a teacher. When the students have completed the learning object in the individual learning space, they then come to the group learning space. And the group learning space is where the activity happens. It's where the active learning, the, the applying, the analyzing, it's where you are there to support the students as they engage with higher level thinking skills with whatever the skill or the concept is that's being taught. They're the three key terms that you really need to be across to really navigate your way around flipped learning in general, but to be aware of at FlipCon. I hope that's been useful. Don't forget to rewind and rewatch if you do need to and reach out to me if there's anything that I can do to help. Thanks very much for watching.